I'm Mohamed Moti from the Sorbonne University in St. Antoine Hospital in Paris. And it's uh, my great pleasure to give you an overview of the session uh, I'll be uh, chairing and coordinating this uh, during this uh, third uh, joint EHA EBMT meeting dedicated to CAR T cells. So this session is about uh, the value of real-world data, real-world evidence in the field of CAR T cells. In general, I am a very a strong believer in the importance of real-world data and evidence. And when it comes to CAR T cells, I believe this is even more important uh, because real-world evidence, real-world data can uh, provide much added value and information uh, compared to the registration trials, to the prospective data. Obviously, we need both type of data. They are crucial. Uh, but the real-world evidence gives you a flavor how it looks like uh, when it comes to using these CAR T cells in routine uh, clinical practice uh, without these uh, complex or tight inclusion and exclusion criteria. You may be able uh, to uh, have uh, uh, vital information uh, about some specific uh, subgroup of uh, patient, some specific uh, conditions. So actually, the accumulation of uh, data, both from prospective trials and real-world evidence, uh, would allow us, uh, the scientific community, but also uh, the uh, patient uh, health authorities, uh, payers, to gather a comprehensive set of information uh, about uh, uh, the drug. And in the case of CAR T cells, we should not forget that the initial approvals were uh, relying on single arm, relatively small studies. So definitely we needed and we still need to have and to generate uh, such real world evidence to keep on informing uh, the field and actually, all of this would serve as a basis to further uh, develop uh, the field of CAR T cells, but also cellular therapy in general.